Abigail at Veg Craze and I have a product review for you today. Today's product is a beauty product and I thought I would get started reviewing some of the holiday gift sets that are coming out um, on Sephora and Ulta and other beauty retailers because I know a lot of you are thinking about either um, purchasing them for other people or maybe for yourself like I did. <laughs> so I thought I would start reviewing some of the ones that I've been trying um, for a, a couple of weeks now. I got a head start. So I wanted to let you guys know if they're worth the money, um, which is the bottom line. So the one that I have today is from Tarte Cosmetics. Um, Tarte is one of the more um, uh, higher level kind of uh, vegan and natural cosmetic lines. So a little bit more expensive, definitely not drug drugstore prices, but you can still get some good deals and really high quality stuff. I like a lot of their products. So today um, it's a four pack that I ordered and it's called the Best for Lash set and uh, here's what it looks like in the package. So these are the four products that I have here for you today. So I'll review them one at a time so you get a good um, overview. So I guess the order that you would use these things in um, starts with uh, this product here, which is called mm, Multiply Prime. So this is a lash enhancing primer, um, something that I'm not really used to using. Here, I'll give you a close up there so you can see what it looks like. So um, it's just like a white squarish tube and these are kind of deluxe sample size so you're not getting full size products but they're not you know a couple time use so you can use these for a few weeks at least um, so this is what the brush looks like so it's a very narrow brush with very short bristles so um, and it's a white product so you put this on um, before your uh, mascara obviously and the idea is that it would prime your lashes so it should help to lengthen them and thicken them and just make your mascara look better that's the bottom line so um, I don't usually use a primer because I have not found honestly one that works really well so um, I thought this was interesting that came in part of the four pack so I thought worth a shot because I've heard some good things about this but um, I actually didn't like it at all not at all and I tried it for a long time with a variety of different mascaras the ones that came in the kit and some other ones and I just didn't think that uh, I didn't think that it was very good so my biggest complaint is that the brushes are not very defining so when you put on a primer you really want it to go on in a very thin coat because you don't want this to um, clump up, then you're, when you put your mascara over it, the mascara is gonna clump up, of course. You want it to go on very cleanly. Um, and because this has such short bristles, um, the it, it doesn't comb through your lashes very well. So when you put it on, it really just clumps up and kind of sits on there. It, it applies very thickly. So the other complaint is that it's very wet. So what I usually do is um, curl my lashes, put on a coat of mascara, and then um, after it's dry, curl them again and then just top off a little bit with a little bit more mascara on the ends. And um, so I really need that curling, especially the first the first round of curling is really important to set that mascara. So um, I curl my lashes, put on this primer, and then the, it's so wet and heavy that it pulls the curl right out. My lashes look totally straight. And I thought, well, that's okay, I still have the second round of curling. But even after I put on the mascara and tried to curl again, no, no go, even after it's dry, it just will not hold a curl. So if you are relying on your eyeless curler to give you some nice, uh, you know, curl to your lashes, don't use this product because it just cannot hold the curl. It just weighs them down way too much. Also, it applies so thickly that it just kind of makes a mess. It will definitely add volume to your lashes. So if that's the only thing you're going for, you may like this, but if you want some definition, if you want some length, if you want some curl, <laughs> Forget it. So really not a fan of this one, um, but the other three I really liked. So then it comes with a basic mascara. Um, this is called Lights, Camera, Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. This is like their classic mascara um, that they are well known for. A lot of people love it, a lot of a lot of fans out there. So you may have already tried this one. I have tried it before, but always happy to get a deluxe sample like this. I think it's a really good deal. So if you're not familiar with the product here, I'll show you what the brush looks like. Hopefully that focuses for you guys. So you can see that it's a pretty densely packed brush. So you're getting um, a lot of definition, definitely. Um, and I find it to be very volumizing. It adds a little bit of length, but it's not a particularly lengthening formula. Um, they have another uh, mascara actually that I'll review probably in a few weeks that 
um, is a little bit more lengthening, but this one definitely volumizing um, and really just fleshes out your mascara, your uh, lashes a little bit. So if you're looking for something de defining and volumizing, this is really fantastic. It builds up pretty well. The first coat gives you really great coverage. The second coat, um, you have to be careful not to put on too much because it can look like a little bit much. So um, I really like it, but it's not my absolute favorite, but really like this one. So if you're looking for volume, absolutely try it out. And then the other two products never tried but was really excited about. So the next one is this gold one and it's called Lights Camera Flashes. So not Lights Camera Lashes like the purple one, <laughs> but Lights Camera Flashes. And so the idea is that you would use this one kind of as a top coat because it is supposed to be um, like a fiber mascara. If you've ever tried one of those, it kind of builds little fibers on the ends to extend the length of your lashes, literally, not just an optical illusion. So um, those kinds of things are really cool but hard to come by if you're looking at vegan and all natural products. So really excited to see this. Now I will say it's a little bit disappointing because it doesn't work like a true fiber mascara if you've tried one of those like before you went vegan. Um, it doesn't work quite like that, but I do still really love this product. Um, I use it as just a second coat. I tried using it as my first coat and second coat, you know, just building it up and I kind of had mixed reviews on it. I prefer to use something basic and volumizing like this one actually or, or any other, whatever your favorite mascara is for your first coat to, you know, really give some definition and some volume and then use um, this lights camera flashes as a top coat. So after I curl it after it's dried, then put it just on the tips and try to build out a little bit of length. And you can really build up a lot of length. I was really impressed with it. Um, usually my complaint about a product that you would use like that is that it can build up too much volume on the tips where you don't really want it. It can look heavy and it can physically drag down your lashes and pull out the curl. But something like this is so light, so um, defining and lengthening that it really just pulls those lashes out and looks beautiful. So let me show you what the brush looks like. It is, it is a um, like a rubber brush which normally I hate. So when I first got this and looked at it, I thought, oh, you've got to be kidding me. But I actually really love it. It has fairly short bristles compared to what I usually like, but the formula is just fantastic. I love it. So my only complaint is that it dried out really fast. And I don't know if it was just this one or what, but I've been using this one every day for maybe a month, and this one dried up after just a couple of weeks, and I'm only using it on the second coat, so I figured it would last much longer. So I don't know if it's a drier formula or uh, if I got a fluke or, or what, but um, it didn't last a super long time, but I would still absolutely repurchase this in a full size because I loved it. I think it's a really great concept, and it's the only product of its kind in the all-natural market um, right now, so love it, really exciting. And then the final product is not mascaras, <laughs> but it is an eye product, and this I had not tried before either. This is Tarte's Inner Rim Liner. It says lights, camera lashes, waterproof inner rim liner, and it's a very narrow little pencil there with gold writing. Looks pretty. Let me show you just how narrow it is. Got a lot of stuff in my hand, so I'm trying to roll it up. Okay, so hopefully you can see how narrow that is. Got a all stuff in here, but there you go. So it's teeny, teeny, tiny. It reminds me of their um, eyebrow pencil. Oh, I should review that on here. I love their eyebrow pencil. Um, but it's pretty much the same size, so very narrow. So if you're wanting to do detail work, this would be great. Um, I haven't tried it on the outside of my eyes, but actually that would be a really good idea because it's so narrow and precise. So this is designed to use on your inner rim, which is a great idea because a lot of products can be irritating on there. Of course, if you're using vegan and all natural products, much less of a chance that it's going to be irritating on your skin than if you're using something pumped with chemicals and preservatives that is always hard on your eyes. So um, this is, and anything made by Tarte is going to be a little bit easier, and I don't usually have a problem with their eyeliners um, on, on the inner rim, but this is designed specifically that way, so it does last a little bit longer, um, a little bit easier to use, and it, and it doesn't bother my eyes at all. So really fantastic product. It is very teeny tiny, so I'm not sure how long this will last, but I don't know about you guys, I don't line my inner eyeliner, eyeliner um, 
every day. I mean, it's not a look that you would wear to work or something like that. It's really if you're going out or dressing up for some special occasion. So I would suspect even a, even a small size like this is going to last me a really long time because I just don't use it all the time. If you do wear inner eyeliner every day for some reason, like if you um, work for a nightclub or something, <laughs> then you might go through this really fast. But average person, this is going to last you six months or more. So um, really good buy. So overall, with these four products, I would say um, love this one, really like this one and this one, and hated this one. So even so, with that really mixed review, I still think that it's really worth the money. I mean, you're getting such a deal in this four pack like this that I would say if you're at all curious about these products or you want a chance to try them out for a good amount of time because they are deluxe sample sizes like this, I think it's really worth it. I've really enjoyed them and I will definitely re be repurchasing this one. Um, and if I ever run out of this one, I'll repurchase that one as well. So um, anyway, I hope that helps you guys narrow things down a little bit as you're working on your Christmas list. I think it will be a good gift for somebody because it's not too expensive and you get four products out of it, unusual and new products in, in these cases. So. Um, pretty cool. Yeah, so um, let me know if you've tried this product out before and if there are other gift sets that you want me to review. I've got a couple more in the works, but if there's something specific you're thinking about purchasing and you wonder if it's worth the money, let me know and I'll try it out for you. Be happy to do that. <laughs> um, and definitely subscribe if you want to see more vegan beauty products like this as well as food and lifestyle reviews. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Aloha.